My name is Brent Patterson and I'm Executive Director of the Irrigation and Farm Water Division with Alberta Agriculture and Rural Development. Water supply, water management and water quality are the three key areas that we work in throughout the province. The key drivers that uh, we're looking at uh, is population and, and, and that's not a surprise to anybody. But where we started to look at it, uh, uh, you know, and, and there's uh, expectations from the United Nations that population will increase from uh, say about 7 billion currently to maybe 9 billion uh, and slightly more in 2050. Um, but population alone is not the only driver. What we're starting to see in many of the developing countries is an increasing uh, economic uh, diversification and, an, and a growing middle class. And so more and more people are able to take on more calories uh, in, in their daily consumption and they're starting to change what those calories are like. Uh, in the past it used to be very much grains and, and uh, direct to consumption of grain products. Now it's moving more and more into meat products which is going to drive uh, more need for grains in order to convert into livestock uh, production. And I think the other driver uh, that, that we're working on more and more now is climate change. Uh, with all of the resources, particularly in the water side, and it's still an unknown science in, in many regards, but we are expecting that as the, the climate continues to warm up, there are going to be more and more stresses uh, on water supplies in many countries. And as many countries uh, continue to grow economically, and particularly with an industrial land base, the competition for water uh, in terms of, of being able to grow the food that's required is going to be greater and greater. And, and a number of countries are predicted to be very short of water from a physical standpoint in the next 20-25 years. And those countries that have been food self-sufficient uh, during that time are not likely going to be food self-sufficient in the future and are going to have to look at other countries to import their food from. So all of that is going to have not only a, uh, an impact on our land base, but what we think is more importantly is on the water uh, itself in order to grow that additional food supply and to make best use of a limiting resource throughout the world. The drivers that we're talking about um, are going to be converted into opportunities uh, for Canada. Uh, we have a, a, a very large land base, a small population, a, a very skilled agriculture and very in, uh, changing into an industrialized uh, agriculture industry that is going to be able to take advantage of the increasing demands uh, for food around the world. I think we're well positioned in terms of our water supplies in order to, to take full advantage of, of uh, growing more and increasing our productivity. The risks, of course, is we're going to have to manage those resources and manage our decisions uh, in a very objective and, I think, proactive way. Uh, when we look at water resources, we certainly see some regions of, of the country that are uh, reaching some challenges in terms of their water supply, but I'm convinced that with the, the technology and the research that is being developed uh, throughout Canada, we are going to be able to overcome those but it does mean that we're going to have to move on those kinds of evaluations and decisions soon. And I think that dialogue is going on now. There is a lot of discussion uh, on, uh, on almost a weekly basis around our water supply uh, situations, uh, the competition for water, not only from the agriculture sector, but from municipal and industrial, and how we achieve that correct balance between growing more food uh, to, to feed the growing world population and balancing that with the social and environmental and industrial demands of the world. It's, it's been projected that Canada will be one of six countries in the world that really will be able to be a, a net food exporter uh, to many of the other countries that are going to demand that food from us and, and I think we need to, uh, to be very aggressive in taking advantage of that as we move into the future. Thank you.